Hello everybody. This is Dr. Carolyn Maria working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Childhood and Growing Up, which is course 1, and we are going to deal with unit 2, Stages and Dimensions of Development. This is part 1 video lecture, which is going to focus on the three life stages of human development. They are infancy, childhood and adolescence. We will be focusing and discussing about the characteristics of each stage, what are the red flags of each stage and the developmental tasks of each stage. And the main objective of this video lecture is the learner will be able to gain thorough knowledge about the stages of development. Let's see our life stages. Our human life cycle starts from an infant and next stage they go, they grow as childhood and this childhood could be divided into two, early childhood and late childhood. Then comes the adolescence, then comes middle age or adulthood, then comes old age, then death. So this is what the human life cycle. What are the different life stages? 0 to 1 year is called as infancy, 1 to 6 years called early childhood, 6 to 12 years are called late childhood. So childhood starts from 1 till 12 years, early childhood and late childhood. Adolescence is 13 to 19, teenage 13, 14, 15, up to 19 is what called as adolescence. Then 20 to 40 is early adulthood, 40 to 65, middle adulthood, 65 till death is late adulthood or even otherwise called as old age. Let's focus on each life stage of a human being. The very first stage is infancy stage from 0 to 1 year. So for the newborn baby, the language of newborn baby is either cry or smile. Only those two activities the newborn baby can, can do. Then after only the child keeps learning everything from the mother through imitation. Usually the newborn baby eats every two to three hours. And you can see uncoordinated movements in them. They will move their hands, legs and they nod their head and they do all these activities. They would remain toothless until they grow the milk teeth by the month of 8 or 9. At the time of birth, they have a poor vision and slowly it keeps developing and it will focus the range of 8 to 12 inches. Usually, the ideal weight of a newborn baby would be, normal baby is 3 kg. So, usually they double the weight by 6 to 7 months and they triple the weight by 1 year. So, it responds to the human voice as well as to the human touch. The newborn babies will have very less control. Whenever you just give a, an object or a toy to the newborn baby, they will just, a baby of some 2-3 months and all, they will just look at or stare at the toy. But when they grow, as they grow to 4, 5, 6 months and all, they will try to grab the toy from you. So, the objects will be involuntarily grasped and dropped even without notice because they may not have proper grip in them. They do follow two grasp. One is palmer grasp, another one is pincer grasp. A six-month-old child, when you give a toy to the child, you could see the child even though if it is a, if for an example, if you just give a small, um, you know, pen, Okay, small pen or something you just give. Instead of holding the pen by two fingers, you can see them just trying to grab the thing with the help of both the hands. So they use their entire hand even to pick up an object. So that is called as palmer grasp. But in the case of nine month, as they start crawling and all, you can see them just crawl and pick up any tiny things whichever is there on the floor. So they use both fingers as their index finger and their pointer finger in order to grasp everything. That is called as pincer grasp. They can grasp even small objects using the thumb finger as well as their forefinger. 
these are the speech milestones of the infants one to two month old child will coos they'll make a sound as coos and two to six month old they laugh and they squeal and eight to nine month babies they can babble and uh, they just uh, babble then the mother would teach them uh, mama dada uh, uncle aunt and all that according to their language then 10 to 12 month old they'll speak specifically they just call their mom and dad specifically 18 to 20 month old children they would uh, just uh, pronounce some 20 to 30 words they can have a memory of 20 to 30 words and 50 percentage of their language would be understood by the strangers but 100 percent their language would be understood by the mother and 22 to 24 month old that is two year children two year old children they may talk in two word sentences like mummy come uh, daddy go give water like that two word sentences they speak and uh, around 50 words to 75 words they may remember and 75 percentage of their language would be understood by the strangers when they grow to 30 to 36 month that is around 3 year old almost their speech would be understood by the strangers because they go to school they'll be trained by their teachers as well as their own peer group Let's now discuss what are the red flags of infant development. Red flags are the dangers, are the alarms. So during infancy, if the child is uh, has not undergone all this, or if the child has not achieved all this, these are the dangers of each stage. So when a child is unable to sit alone by the age of nine month, then there is some developmental problem in the child. We can we have to take the child. for the uh, notice of medical practitioner and when a child is unable to transfer the object from one hand to another hand by the age of one that is a red flag when a child is having abnormal pincer grasp as well as uh, by at the time of even 15 months see for an example if you are giving a pencil if the child is using both the hands at the age of 15 month that is one and a half year old you can take the child to doctor when a child is unable to walk alone by 18 months that is one and a half year that is a danger when a child uh, is having a failure to speak recognizable words by 2 years still if the child is having the childish language if it is not understood by the mother or even by the stranger you need to take the child to the doctor so these are the red flags of infancy period So the next stage is childhood, as I told you already, from two to twelve years. So here, this two to twelve year old old kids, they would communicate verbally. They would call you by their by our names, and they can even remember our names. They can usually speak in two to three word sentences, and at this age, they are very famously known for. the negative behavior because they would say no when you ask them you want to have food immediately they say no want to draw want to play they immediately say no because uh, they do have a sort of negative behavior at this age and they imitate their parents they are the great imitators of their parents you can see them playing with toys and talking with the toys and considering the toys as that is the lifeless objects as lively things and all and their vocabulary and pronunciation continue to expand sentences are more complex at this age they speak well enough for strangers to understand and this imitation is very clear obvious and there is a line between the real and imaginary often you could see in this children because whatever the mother does to the child the child will do the same thing to the toy okay so they would just imitate the mother by considering themselves as the mother and the toy as the child and they do develop the fears common fears for dark and fear for animals as well as even for death all these fears at this age the children would develop what are the red flags of at this age if a child is not able to perform the self care task 
for example toiletry habits and washing their hands simple dressing and daytime toileting all this if the child is not able to perform all this task on their own then you need to take the child to doctor then if the child lacks socialization here we are supposed to concentrate on if the child is not sociable to other people if the child is not talking to other person and if the child is comfortable with himself or him i'm sorry himself or herself then you can you have to take the child to the doctor because they may have some problem and if the child is unable to play with other children or unable to follow the directions during examination given by the teacher and the same way with regard to the evaluation performance in the evaluation when the pre kg teacher is telling that the child is very slow in reading writing reciting and etc and all and if the child is a school failure and if the child does not have any friends and if the child is isolating himself from the society and if a child is having some aggressive behavior like always fighting with each other jumping up and down and fire setting or animal abuse just taking a stone and throwing on some dog or cat all these behaviors are some of the abnormal behavior children may have it has to be taken into account to take the children for to the doctor next stage is adolescent stage 13 to 19 years it is a traumatic stage for every child as well as even the parent because parent may consider they are adolescent people or also children but according to them they may say that they are grown up so they are neither treated as children nor treated as adults so here in this age only puberty occurs and they extremely uh, care about their their appearance most of the time they'll be taking care about their appearance and they try to establish their self identity whatever dress they wear and whatever activity they do they wanted to have proper recognition they strive for it and they may have a sort of perplexing physical changes because of hormonal changes they do have so many bodily changes if they are given proper information with regard to all the bodily changes they may be grown into very good they may grown into very good adolescents and they may have a very good identity rather if they are not informed anything they may have a lot of confusion and in this age they may have the heightened self consciousness they may think everybody the entire world is looking at them but not even a crow will look at them but usually they may think like that because still when they were in 6 standard 7 standard and all they may be very friendly with everybody they may be uh, having a gang and they may talk to each other very fluently very very sociably they could be but when they come to this adolescent stage they may be comfortable with their own gender girls will join together and form a group and boys will join together and form a group because they do have this sort of problem called as self consciousness then at this age they may have the intensification for urge whatever happens you know they wanted to go for a try because they wanted to be an adventurous at this age they wanted to take a risk so that sort of urge would be there until they uh, they perform the task they'll be having that urge and they will be craving for independence till they are in childhood age whenever a mother says the child to stay at home uh, when a mother wanted to go to a neighbor you know neighboring shop the child would cry but at this adolescent stage the children would say that just leave me alone let me be alone okay so that sort of independence the children would be seeking for and peer group relationship has a very great influence during this adolescent stage and they do have a confusion between idealism and realism idealistic people would say that knowledge comes through mind realistic people says that knowledge comes through whatever you do through your real life experiences through your practical experiences so they do have a confusion between idealism and realism and at this age occasional choice will become another problem for them so they should be given proper guidance in order to choose their career and they need to have very good support from the family as well as even from the teachers and most of the time they would aspire for leadership whatever you give the group activity they wanted to lead and they wanted to perform well these are some of the problems of adolescence 
I have say have told you they do have this identity crisis. Neither they are treated as children nor they are treated as adult. So they do have this sort of self confusion, and because of this, they do alienate themselves from the parent, and that is what called as generation gap. Because they feel comfortable talking to their own peer group, their own age mates, and they do have this negative and non-conformist attitude. whatever you say they would ask immediately they will protest and they would ask why why should it i do like this why should i just follow you or blindly obey you all this negative attitude will arise in this age and they may have a sort of hesitation and confusion in selecting selecting the vocation and they do have this emotional swing most of the time they become highly restless uh, you know happiness they just go to the peak and disappointment they go to the pit so both uh, mood swings they do have and they most of the time they may just ignore the practical world they wanted to live in a fantasy world so this is the age they would like to live in a fantasy world and they would aspire for autonomy also because most of the time they would just protest and they raise so many questions and peer group dominance would be prevailing in this adolescent stage up to this only for your portion let me just give you a brief note about the uh, other other stages also early adulthood stage 20 to 40 years so here the physical development will be completely complete and emotional maturity is expected to be have by, by this adulthood people usually they learn to accept their responsibility for their action and they accept even criticism but it is not possible in adolescent period usually they know how to learn from their own errors and the socially progress from age related peer group problems also they may come across with and they at this particular age they won't give much importance for their peer group rather they may concentrate in their family what are the characteristics of middle age or middle adulthood so here 40 to 60 years 60 or up to 65 years you can take physical changes begin to occur hair begins thin and gray wrinkles appear hearing and vision decreases muscle uh, loses the tone and their main concern would be children health job security aging parent and fear of aging all this and love and acceptance still take a major role at the, this particular age what are the characteristics of late adulthood or old age 65 up to death 60 and above so here fastest growing of age and in the society physical deterioration brittle bones and poor coordination for high eye and hand some memory problems people may come across with and they'll be uh, they'll be uh, struggling to cope up with their retirement life because they wanted to be engaged but they may not know how they can keep themselves engaged and they were very concerned with their health and finances significant number of people will become highly depressed and suicidal rate is also high at this age because losing their their own pair they may think why should they live so that sort of attitude would be there in this old age let's concentrate on developmental task what do you mean by developmental task developmental task is a task which arises at a period in in a life of an individual successful achievement of which will leads to his happiness and success with the later task but failure occurs that leads to unhappiness as well as difficulty for the later task so here there are different de uh, developmental task for different life stages each age could be called differently and there are some critical age at that age which the social group expects its members to master the developmental task of that particular age what are the developmental task of infancy as well as early adulthood learning to walk is a task for them to take solid food to talk to control the elimination of body waste that is a task for them learning gender differences achieving physiological stability forming simple concepts of social and physical reality learning to relate oneself emotionally with the parent siblings and the others learn to distinguish between right and wrong and developing conscious 
conscience so that is a task at this age every stage you do have some task and if you are able to successfully proceed the task no problem you can have a very good development but if you get stuck in each age each stage with regard to some some of these developmental tasks that is what is called as the red flag of our life what are the developmental task of later childhood learning physical skills which are necessary for ordinary games building wholesome attitude towards oneself as a growing organism learning to get along with the age mate developing fundamental skills of reading writing calculating developing concepts necessary for everyday life developing attitudes towards social groups what are the developmental task of adolescence accepting one's own physic as well as accepting their own masculine or feminine role that is a greatest task for adolescents their own physical appearance they need to first of all accept and establish new relationship with other mates other age mates gaining emotional intelligence from parent as well as from other adults achieving assurance of economic independence selecting and preparing for an occupation developing intellectual skills and concepts desiring and achieving socially responsible behavior preparing for marriage and family life what are the developmental task of adulthood age between 20 to 40 years selecting the life partner entering into family life begetting children and rearing their children getting into an occupation or profession and getting promotion in that and what are the developmental task of middle age shouldering the family and social responsibilities are the biggest task for them acquiring economic stability in life because at this age they will be concentrating mainly on establishing their own family with regard to their wealth and providing guidance to their own adolescent children getting adjusted with one's old age parent are the task of middle age people what are the developmental task of the old age accepting the decrease in one's own capacities and efficiencies withstanding the loss of one's life partner developing positive attitude towards the leisure time and relaxation how far education plays a major role with regard to this developmental task as teachers we need to equip our students with necessary basic skills age wise at from right from elementary secondary higher secondary higher education levels to lead a successful life so we need to give a lot of activities and exercises to help the student to become self reliant people and education is should take special care in designing curriculum to provide variety of experiences in curricular as well as co curricular activities and we need to concentrate on all round development or overall development of an individual as well as we need to understand that each individual is different and we need to plan the task according to the capacity of each and every individual what are the key learnings of this particular video lecture each life stage of a human being is very important you cannot negate any any stage parents and teachers should help each children to overcome all the developmental tasks let me ask you some question as a teacher how will you promote the all round development among your students what are the various activities you plan in your class suggest any two measures to help the adolescents to overcome their emotional disturbances because i told you that they do have a lot of mood swing uh you know excitement to the peak and disappointment to the pit so as a teacher because you will be dealing with this adolescent students so how will you help them to overcome their emotional disturbances these are some of the books for your further reading thank you for listening students wish you all good luck